What's going on guys? Welcome to Station 3 Productions. And today, I caught a cold from hell. Uh, I think I'm about to die, honestly. But anyway, no matter what, we're going to make a cool ass video today anyhow. We're going to be using uh, heat transfers and a hoodie. So stick around, stay tuned, and hopefully we can get through this together. Alright guys, today this is what we're going to do. We're going to take, we're going to take this to your uh, standard hoodie, and we're going to use these heat transfers. Now, this one here, oh, it's upside down I think. Anyhow, we're going to take this decal, which goes on the front, right here. And then this one is going to go on the back. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this, and it's really cool. The only little problem with this is, this is the first one that I've ever done with a hoodie. You know, it's like some of my other videos, I've used uh, t-shirts and stuff like that, but this is going to be a first for me. So, what I got to do to set this heat press up, is I got to dial it down to a firm to medium pressure, 390 degrees for 10 to 12 seconds, and then peel hot, which you just going to grab it real fast and a smooth motion from corner to corner and pull it right off. So let me get everything set up and we'll get to this. Hopefully this works out really good. Alright guys, I think you can see that. I've got my, I got my uh, temperature set to 390. Well, it's still climbing, but Anyhow, I set that to 390, and I'll show you that in a second, for 12 seconds, and medium to firm pressure. And if you're wondering where, where this heat press came from, right here's the link right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's powerheatpress.com. And all of the stock transfers that I ever get, it, it comes from one company and one company only, only because these guys are awesome. It's ProWorldInc.com. And I will leave all of that information down below just in case you guys want to go check it out. They have an awesome website. Customer service is perfect. Shipping's perfect. I mean, I couldn't say any more for these guys. I mean, they're, they're excellent. And I've never had any trouble with any of the transfers or anything. So, i give you something to uh, work with or look into if you'd like. Um, I think we're just about, well, yeah, we got a couple more minutes to warm up here. But, yeah, you guys go check them out. They have over 7,000, I think it's over 7,000 prints you could look into. And, yeah, it's real easy. So, there you have it. We should be just about ready to do this. So, I'll be right back. Alright, guys. Now, right here should be up to temperature. And it says 389, but we give it a second to be 390. There we go. Uh, 390 degrees for 12 seconds. And once again, medium to firm pressure. I'll set you guys on the tripod here real quick. And then I'll show you how we do the rest of it. Alright. So, what you're going to do is get your hoodie on there and try to center that the best you can. And then, what we're going to do... Oh yeah, make sure there's no junk on there. And that'll goof up your whole program for sure. Now, what we're gonna do is first press this down real quick just for a few seconds. 
There we go. And what that does is it gets rid of all of the moisture and all that out of the um, fabric. You don't want any moisture in that at all because that will uh, screw things up. Now what we're going to do, oh, this cold is killing me guys. Now what we're going to do is come in here and try to get this where I need it to be. Right, hopefully, hopefully right about there. Then press that. Damn, that was a hard one. All we're going to do is wait for the alarm to go off. Peel that off. Peel this off real quick. Keep going. There we go. There it is. That's the first one. That turned out really good. Now, you want to pull this off. off, pull it off. You're going to wave it around a little bit, cool it down. And here you go. There's the first part. Now, I'll get hooked up for the second part and I'll show you how that goes. Alright, now we're going to work on the back side. And again, don't forget to uh, press that down just for a few seconds to get that moisture out of there. You know, you don't have to clamp it down really tight or anything. Just hold on to it and everything will be alright. Now, we're going to take this. And again, all you got to do is center it. Get it right where you need it to be. And then repress this again. And then that, when I press that, when that alarm goes off, then all I got to do is just pick it up and peel it. It's always one corner to the next corner, crossways like this. Don't do it this way. This way. All right. Now, let me see if I can get this in here. Oh, yeah. All right. Get this bad boy on here. Get that centered. That looks pretty good. Now, we're going to press this one. There we go. Peel that off. Peel this off. You gotta peel this hot. You gotta keep going, 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 going. You can't let it cool down. There you go. Another one. Perfect. Right there. And then what you're gonna do is just pull this off. Just like, just like before, going to shake it up, let it cool down a little bit. Hopefully you guys can see that. And there you go. Everything's perfect. What I'll do is I'll let this cool down, and I'll lay it out, and then I'll show you guys over here on the table. All right, and there you go. There's the finished product right there. This is the first hoodie that I've ever done on this heat press with uh, stock heat transfers. And I have to say, this thing turned out to be really, really nice. And you see, everything came off of there really good. And like I said earlier, you gotta make sure you peel that off while it's still hot because if you let it cool down, the uh, 
Plaster Saw ink will start, you know, setting, and then when you go to pull that off when it's too cool, uh, cool then it'll goof up your picture every single time. Here, let me flip it over so you can see the other side. There you go. Here's the end result right there. Everything's all cooled down. And that turned out really, really good. Not bad for first time on the uh, hoodie material, huh? Very, very nice. Very nice. Guys, there you go, and we managed to make it through without fucking dying. This cold is really killing me, guys. But anyhow, there you go. That's pretty much a wrap for now. We'll do another quick uh, recap. With this particular print, you need 390 degrees, medium to firm pressure. I know that first time around I had it just a little bit too firm, but you know, you just have to adjust it so it's perfect for you. Uh, what else did I say? Oh, 10 to 12 seconds. When your alarm goes off, make sure you pop that up. Grab that from one corner to the next corner and peel that while it's still hot. And by all means, do not let it cool down. Because what's going to happen is, like I said earlier, that Plastisol ink is going to start setting in and then when you start peeling that off because it's starting to cool down you take a chance on peeling the ink off of it as well and then you got to go back and start all over again so but anyhow oh yep and I get uh, like I said earlier I get all of my stock uh, heat transfers at ProWorldInc.com you guys, I, like I said, I'll, I'll leave all that information down below. Um, I'll leave the link down below for my heat press. It works perfect every single time. And, uh, oh, well, I think that's about it for now. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, definitely leave them down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So, before we go, make sure you hit the subscribe button for more content. Check out all the links below. Hit the like button if you like the video. And we always appreciate the support. Until next time, take care, be safe, and always support your local fire department.